A new poll suggests 90% of people in the UK want to legalise assisted dying for those suffering from terminal illnesses. 88% say it should also be available to dementia sufferers, provided they've consented before losing their mental capacity. And I agree 100%. In Britain, we talk incessantly about human rights. Surely it's the basic, fundamental human right of any terminally sick person to die at a time and place of their choosing. I've never understood why those who are in pain and whose dignity is long gone are expected to die a long, drawn-out death because a bunch of medics and politicians have decided that all life is sacred. It isn't. Some lives are hellish and hopeless and endured in pain, fear and despair. And terminally ill people shouldn't have to stay alive, suffering to satisfy the morality and belief systems of others. But the biggest cruelty? One Briton every fortnight goes to Switzerland for an assisted death because it's illegal for them to die here at home, surrounded by the people they love. We don't allow animals here to suffer if they're dying in pain. So why do we force humans to? I'm genuinely mixed on this one, and I've got to tell you, right, I absolutely cannot stand in any way, shape or form, and I've seen a lot of it, suicide, all right? I, I just, it just, the whole thing smacks for me. Time. I can't do it, all right? It really is one thing that, you know, if I could stamp it out, I would. I hate suicide. And this has got an edge of suicide to it, all right? No. Okay? No, 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 no. Before you go on, just let me, no, no, I will hear you. Just out. let me say, me this out. is not about suicide. This is about people <laughs> wanting control of how and when they do it. Yeah, 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 but that's the same as committing suicide. No, control. Yeah, yeah, right, listen. Right okay. right, okay, right, okay, right, no, sorry, right. So, the other thing I was about to say was I genuinely cannot stand seeing people suffer unnecessarily, okay? So, there is a fine balance. I think the thing here is decide who makes that decision, you know, and I think the decision can only be made by the person who is, who is actually the one making it. It's all right for me saying, right, let's have that, that's good, okay, because when it comes to time for me to pull my own plug out, will I be able to do it? Mm -hmm. So the only person that can make that decision is the person who is actually in the position well, that needs to be There is that, but, 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 but if it became law, in the countries where it is law already, what happens is it's called a doctor-assisted um, death. And what happens is um, two doctors and a judge talk to the person who wants to end their life. Yeah. And they, they, they talk to them about why they, why they want to die. Let's get Greg in. I just want to tell you one thing. We, we don't sort of say commit suicide. Just to clarify that, no, if anybody's no, watching, it's, it's taken, because suicide. it's not a criminal it's act. Really it's taking not. life. I mean, just, I, just, I, okay, I, I, no, no, I, just as a clarification yes. sport, that's all. I lived through this a bit with my mum, who, in her mid-80s, when she was sprightly and fun, said to me, look, Greg, if ever I go gaga, as she called it, um, I want you to give me the pills. Now, oh. a decade later, yeah. she'd gone gaga. By her standards, wh what do you do? Mm. And I'm not sure... What did you I'm, do? I, 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 we visited her, stayed with her until she died five years later, but for five years she had a terrible life. Yes. Had um, you been able to legally, what might you have done? Oh, I would... I would certainly have given her the pills if illegally I could have done because she didn't want to because be. Because she asked you to. But, but she'd wish. asked me ten years earlier. The trouble is, the stage at which so many people who wanted to do that could do it actually they're not in a position to make that decision. No, but the law, so the, you're talking about a very small yeah, and but, a very narrow group, which I agree but, with you entirely. But the right? law was clear. The, the, what this, the, the, you know, this, this suggestion is clear that you you only do it to people who have have consented to this way before they've lost sure. their faculties. But but you know, we, one of us leaves here, gets involved in a car crash, we're we're no, brain yes. dead. Do, it's, you can't do anything. You know, uh -oh. the, there's a guy called I mean, Alex Pandolfo, and he's a supporter of this uh, My Death, My Decision campaign group. And he has dementia, and it's, it's getting more advanced, but he has, he's going to go to Switzerland to end his own life. And, I mean, listen to this quote. This, this really is upsetting. He says, Even basic things have become impossible now. In place of freedom and independence I used to enjoy, my life is now full of fear. And he said, If he waited till the six months that were left that the law will give you if, if it's passed, he said he wouldn't have been able to make that decision. And he will have to, he said, And I will have to be forced to live for years as the very antithesis of the person I am now. I covered the case of Debbie Purdy when I was yeah. legal oh, yeah. correspondent yeah. and, you know, that was a very... She was an incredible woman. Who, Just remind the viewers of the yeah, story. She, she was a woman who had a, a terminal illness. <clears throat> it was very debilitative um, and degenerative. And she had gone to court to ask for the right for her husband, who, whom she loved and who, yes. who was her main carer, yes. for him to be allowed to assist her in dying. Right, yeah. And that would have changed the law and made it, with a number of safeguards, legal for somebody who is able to make an informed decision and give informed consent to take their life. And it was very, I thought it was very disappointing that the Supreme Court decided not oh, to God, change the law. And I agree with you, we live in an age where we expect to have more and more control over the way we live. 
And yet none of that has translated into the way we die. We, we're not given any control over the way we die. I think it's common sense that we have different expectations about how to manage the end of our life now. I think my issue, Carol, and I do mainly agree with you, on Alzheimer's is more complicated because when it's, when it's on with the oh, terminal illness, they've got six months to live. Um, and, you know, mentally they're able to give informed consent. I think that's one thing. I think with Alzheimer's it's more complicated because um, it's harder to get no. um, informed consent. Can I just read you um, a statement from the Alzheimer's Society? This is from Sally Copley, who says, Any debate around assisted dying and dementia should reflect that everyone's experience of dementia is unique and the voices and views of people with dementia should be at its heart. Equally important is to take into account the specific challenges facing people with dementia, including their capacity to make decisions which can change over time. Everyone with dementia has the right to have their wishes respected and be involved in their care right up to the end of life. And just, you know, the one thing we haven't talked about is that not only can a dying person not choose how to die, but the person that they love who might want to assist could them be, now faces prosecution. Of course, and, 14 and, and, years in prison. And that's what, let's, just, let's just look at the... Uh, let me, this, is a, this is a lady called Sarah Griffiths, um, whose, whose mother, Julian, um, had dementia. She wrote a will with her express wishes about what she wanted to happen. No intervention, do not resus, all those sorts of things. So it made it very, very clear. And in that, she said, if ever there is um, an opportunity where I can take my life when things get too much, I would do it. She always used to say to me, please don't ever let me get like this. I don't want to go like this. And, and I feel the same. And the tragedy of that is that th this lady, her mum, Gillian, nursed her own father for years with the same kind of dementia, with vascular dementia, so which is why she, she wanted to enter her Do you not think that that individual's decision... And I, I say this because I have been in a similar sort of thing myself, all right? Mm -hmm. I was on an operation in West Africa whereby I had said to friends of mine, OK, good friends of mine, if you see me getting dragged off at the end of the day and we've lost the firefight, slot me. Just do me, because I don't want to be dragged off and used as an ashtray in an African village for the next six months, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that was a decision that... But then in my back of my own mind, I'm still thinking to myself, is there dragging me off? Is there That's a chance he might miss? Is there a chance I might get That's away? That's entirely different. Do you know what I mean? That's but it's not, because... You, it's not no, different, no. It is different. At the very end of it, is there still going to be an element of doubt in that person's mind no. that they want to turn that decision over? If that you... they might get better, that there might be some way of saving their life? Because you've got an inbuilt switch which says, I want to would live. You, if would you, you have been had... able to kill a colleague? In the same circumstances, had, had again, I been again, you know, you, you know, we, you, you, you make these decisions. Well, would you? If if the push came to a shove, then you know, I think I probably would. Yeah. I, 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 see, I, I certainly have the view. I'd love to be able to write down and say, having watched my mum go through what she did, I would like to be able to say to my children, look, if I get there, mm. help me. And would you do that? I would write it down, but no. it won't help because no, it won't the, help. The, the, the law doesn't allow that. And I will then not be in a position to do anything. I remember talking to a doctor about it and saying, because I'm certain in the past they gave people certain drugs. Absolutely. Certain did. Absolutely. I think and they, the, their answer was Dr. Shipman changed all that. Mm. That Dr. Shipman, that the, the, the medical, the, the doctors can no longer take those sorts of decisions. But I, I just think the idea, someone with a terminal illness, there is no coming back from that. There might have been a coming back for your colleagues or you on the battlefield, but there is no coming back from a terminal illness. And if you're, no, let me finish, and if you're scared, and if you're in pain, and if there is no quality to your life, and most importantly, no dignity to yeah. your but life. But who takes that decision? That's, that's my point, Greg. That's, that's the problem. problem. So you're mentally who? able, so yes, say, if you're mentally yes, able, that's I'm fine. soiling yes. myself, yes. and I'm just a burden to and myself. I don't want to be. But my mind is fine. I agree. I'm what saying... happens when you're not no, mentally able to take it? I'm saying this just because I feel like someone should say it, even though basically I agree with Carol. I think it is really important, though, and this is why people worry about this debate, that we don't send a message that there aren't people in that situation who want to live, that even no, though they're true, in pain, even true. though Absolutely they might have had yes, their dignity yes. stripped yeah. by their illness, yes. they, and, and what, the reason this is so controversial is that groups um, like Care Not Killing, which opposes assisted dying, are worried that it kind of devalues life for those who are terminally ill, that they might then feel pressure, that it sends a message that if you only have six months to live, you know, you might we as well must be listen, gone. We must listen to people who are terminally 